These are the five best things about living in Langford, British Columbia, Canada, and a few bad ones too. Hello everyone and welcome back to our real estate channel. Today we're going to dive into the pros and cons of living in the beautiful municipality of Langford, British Columbia, located in the West Shore neighborhood of Greater Victoria. Now Langford has become an increasingly popular choice for home buyers and investors alike. So let's explore what makes this area so appealing and highlight some of the aspects that might be worth considering before making your decision. Without further ado, let's jump right in. If we haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Chris Cochran, an experienced realtor with eXp Realty. Whether you're interested in buying, selling, investing, or simply at one of those life events that spark interest and make you want to consider making a move, I'm here to assist you. Please don't hesitate to reach out for further information. You can find all of my contact details in the comments section below. You can also book an appointment with me by just clicking the link, which is right up in the banner of my YouTube channel. You can jump right into my Calendly and book a time that works for you. Okay, so this one may come off the wrong way, but affordability. Now, Langford offers more affordable housing options compared to other municipalities in the Greater Victoria area, making it an attractive choice for first-time buyers and young families. That doesn't mean that houses are free here. That doesn't mean you can buy houses for half price of what they are in Victoria, and certainly doesn't mean that Overall, it's an affordable place to live because it's still pretty expensive. However, in the Greater Victoria area, it's one of the more popular areas because of its affordability. All right, just like everywhere else in Greater Victoria, there is a ton of natural beauty in Langford. So Langford is surrounded by stunning landscapes, including nearby lakes, parks, and forests. It's a haven for outdoor enthusiasts and offers hiking trails. We've got uh, Geordie Lund Biking Park. We've got biking routes. We've got trails that connect you to all the municipalities around here. And there's ample opportunities for outdoor exploration. So number three, Langford boasts a lot of amenities. So Langford has an array of amenities, including shopping centers, restaurants, and entertainment venues. You'll find anything you need conveniently located and enhancing your overall quality of life by living here. We've got a pro sports team or two out here. You can catch a soccer game, quite good actually, really good soccer at the Pacific FC. And you can go to a climbing gym, you can skate outdoors in the winter. It's crazy, there are lots of things to do out here. This is why I live here and it's because of the family friendly community. So there's lots of things to do for families and it's got a strong sense of community and a family oriented atmosphere. There are lots of people out here with kids. There's excellent schools parks, recreational facilities, and it's a really great place to raise children. My children roam the streets of my neighborhood and I don't really have to worry about them getting hit by cars. They're four and six right now. I do have a 15 year old, but we won't count him yet. Now, another good thing about Langford is its proximity to Victoria. Now, while Langford provides a peaceful suburban setting, it's only a short drive to the vibrant city and troubles of Victoria. Now, this allows residents to enjoy the best of both worlds, the tranquility of Langford and the cultural and social and professional opportunities that the nearby Greater Victoria and the core have to offer. Now that we've explored some of the good things, let's discuss some of the bad things that potential residents should be aware of. So this is obviously number one, or at least it seems to be the one that's the hottest topic, that is commuting. Now if you work downtown, commuting from Langford can be time consuming, but I would say it only really adds like 15 or 20 minutes to your drive, depending on where you are in Langford. Now especially during peak hours, it's essential to consider your daily commute and transportation options when you're making a decision on where to live in the Greater Victoria area or if you're considering Langford. Number two is limited public transportation. While Langford is growing rapidly, the public transportation network is still developing. So there's certain areas that are not serviced by public transportation yet, and you need to plan routes and consider alternative modes of transportation. I know my 15 year old gets on his electric scooter and he can go pretty much anywhere. However, if he wants to go downtown, he's gonna get on a bus and the bus does not come very close to our house. Another downside or positive, depending on how you look at it, is Langford's rapid growth. Now, it can be a double-edged sword. While it brings new opportunities and amenities and new sidewalks and new roads, it also means increased traffic and higher demand for housing, potentially impacting the charm and affordability of Langford in the long term. This is another downside, and that's the distance to certain amenities. While Langford has a wide 
wide range of amenities, some residents might find certain specialized services or cultural activities are more readily available in larger urban centers like Victoria or Vancouver. The last one I'm gonna talk about is the lack of historical charm. Now, unlike some other neighborhoods and towns in and around the area, Langford is a relatively new community without a rich historical background, unless you consider auto racing a historical background. Now, if you're seeking a place with historical significance and charm, Langford might not be the best fit for you. And there you have it, some more good things and bad things to consider in this municipality of Langford. As always, it's crucial to weigh these factors against your personal preferences and lifestyle. Langford's affordability, natural beauty, and amenities and family-friendly environment are definitely positives. However, commuting challenges, limited public transportation, rapid growth, distance to certain amenities, and a lack of historical charm should be considered. We hope this information helps you make an informed decision about whether Langford's the right place for you to move to. If you have any questions or you'd like to learn more about real estate options in Langford, please reach out and you can find all my contact information below. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.